For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. In the last video, we talked about the electron configurations of monatomic ions in the main group elements. In this video, I want to do the same thing, talking about the electron configurations of monatomic ions, but specifically for those in the transition block. So similar to the situations with tin and lead that were discussed in the previous video, and unlike most of the main group elements, transition metals often do not attain or acquire a noble gas configuration, though there are some examples. Scandium forms a three plus ion to have a noble gas configuration, and titanium forms a plus four ion to get a noble gas configuration. That's not always the case though with transition block elements. So when transition metals form ions, they usually lose all of their N electrons and some of their N minus one D electrons, where N is just the highest energy level in question. So if we think about iron, iron is right here in the transition block. I'll kind of highlight it in blue. It's right here. It can form a plus two or a plus three ion. So let's explain what's going on there. So Fe can go to Fe2 plus, plus two electrons. So iron's um, electron configuration is basically from all the way up to argon and then 4s2, 3d6. And its orbital diagram is shown here. 4s2 is filled, 3d has six electrons in it. So if it loses two electrons, which two electrons is it losing? Well, it's going to lose the electrons from the highest um, the highest energy level, which is four in this case. So it's going to lose those two 4s electrons. And so the orbital diagram will look like this. It'll just basically lose those. 4s, they're no longer there anymore. So what's left over for the configuration is just 3d6. So that's the configuration of the iron 2 plus ion. Now, what about for the iron three plus ion? So we're just gonna lose one more electron. So the configuration that we start with for iron is still the same, 4s2, 3d6, that's the orbital diagram for that. But now we're gonna lose three electrons. Well, which ones are we gonna lose? We're gonna definitely gonna lose those 4s electrons, both of those. But then we have, of these, which is gonna, it's gonna leave? It's that one that's paired up, right? To leave it entirely half full. So we're gonna have this orbital diagram, right? Because having them all half filled is pretty stable. Right, and so the electron configuration there is going to be 3d5, right? Because we lose those 4s electrons, both of those, and we lose one from the 3d. Okay, so it lost all of its n electrons or ns electrons, excuse me, I can't believe I made that mistake, um, and some of their um, d electrons. Okay, so um, in this case, it lost one d electron in the case of forming the three plus ion, but in the case of the uh, two plus ion, it didn't have to lose any D electrons. Okay, so another note to, to keep in mind is that when we fill these orbitals, when we follow the Aufbau principle guidelines, the 4s orbital is filled before the 3d orbital. So we would kind of expect the 3d electrons to be removed first, but they're not. When removing the electrons, the 4s electrons are removed before the 3d electrons. This is often just noted as the first in and first out idea, right? When removing the electrons, the highest n value is removed first, right? So four is bigger than three, so they leave first, okay? So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.